the Z30 is not for stills photographer. Well, kind of. Great to have you guys back here once again. This is my final thoughts on the Nikon Z30, a camera which I had for a while now, a camera which is recording this token headshot I have fitted on it, the 18 to 35 mil Sigma art lens 1.8. Um, fantastic camera in the studio. I've had it out and about taking some images, trying to use it as a stills camera, because I did initially say that when this was released, that small compact camera would be great for me for a walk around camera, taken out with the family, taken out on holidays, um, and that would be my main kind of holiday camera, first camera that I would pick up. So how has it performed? Well, we're going to talk about that in this video. Now, I've got to say, from the off, this camera will produce beautiful images. The quality of the images are stunning. Same as they are in the Z50 and the ZFC. Really, really nice quality images. The sensor works super, super well. The autofocus on this camera hasn't let me down. It's worked really, really well. Using this camera as my main camera for the talking headshot section on these videos, it's absolutely fantastic, it is brilliant. This is basically where it's gonna stay. It's gonna be staying in here for the foreseeable future. It won't be moving at all from the studio. This will be my main camera to use for recording videos. But how has it performed outside in stills? Now I took it out the other day around Beamish, a local open air museum, we went out with the family, so I thought, great opportunity to take the camera out test it. Now we all know the Nikon Z30 does not have a viewfinder so I was eager to see how it would perform using it without a viewfinder because I'm so used to using it a viewfinder in the past I want to see how this would work. So initial thoughts not the best experience at all in stills photography especially on high contrast high br really bright days outside and the reason being is because the screen just was not up to the task. I do think that if Nick aren't going to implement a camera which is kind of almost trying to replace, I know it wasn't just to replace a phone, it was for creators to create video, it was more dedicated to the video side of things which it works absolutely flawlessly at that. It's fantastic, I've got no complaints at all but using it as a still camera and you're, if you're thinking about picking this camera up for both video and series stills, I would probably think again, I would probably go for maybe the Z50 or the ZFC. Reason being again, it's because obviously you just cannot see the back of the screen in high contrast situations. So if you're outside the bright zone, the screen just does not do the job. It's only a 1.1 million dots on the screen. It's just not doesn't do it and the brightness of the screen as well is just not covering it. I think if Nikon are going to implement this in future they really need to make sure that the screen like a lot of the phone cameras do these days is more than adequate to be shooting outside in bright sunshine that's a must especially for a camera with no AVF because on situations where you cannot see the back of the screen you're always going to be pulling that camera up to your eye and shooting through the EVF and that won't cause you any issues you're going to make sure you get the shot so a lot of these images when I'm walking around beamish especially outside especially this one of the officer in the street I couldn't see the back of the camera I just relied on the camera to do its job and albeit it done a fantastic job of capturing that image I literally couldn't see a thing on the camera so the camera picked the focus point everything I had it on face detect obviously it's must have focused on the eye and it's done an absolutely fantastic job. But that was kind of the, the theme of the day, especially outside in bright sunlight. Now indoors, completely different manner altogether. No issues whatsoever. You can see everything you can see here. I'm shooting in a very darkened area. I can see the back of the screen. The lady sitting at the table, got the fire going, picked focus, no problem. Using subject tracking, which is kind of how I like to set up the camera. Um, and it just worked really, really well. So indoors, brilliant for taking photographs outdoors not so good at all so if you're somebody who's looking for an all-round camera to shoot indoors and outdoor stills bear this in mind it is not the easiest camera to use outdoors at all and it will become a little bit frustration photography has to be a great experience and in the past obviously using cameras pulling that viewfinder up the eye that connection you, you do get a connection through the viewfinder to your image and not having a viewfinder on a camera it's not for me. Maybe for you, you guys may be used to it coming from phone cameras, all that kind of thing, but for me, not having an EVF on top of the camera doesn't do it for me. But apart from that, the video side of it is absolutely fantastic. So really, I'm complaining about something that Nikon didn't really 
cater for anyways in this camera. It was catered for the creator to create content, video content, that's what it was before. But I wanted to put this video out there in case somebody considering the Z30 for a stills camera that is not going to be the best experience for your photography. So I want to let you guys know in advance. So that's my final thoughts on the Nikon Z30. All around great camera for video, talking headshots, creating video photography, I would say 50-50. So that's my final thoughts on the Nikon Z30. Great little camera, but you guys will have to make the decision whether you want one just for video or stills. And that will make your decision a lot easier. So there you go, that's my final thoughts on the Nikon Z30. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Why not consider subscribing to the channel? And I will see you guys in the next one. See you then.